What's up folks, Jacob Rob AJ here. Today I'm here to shoot an album review. This album is entitled Class 90, Volume 1, and this is by Rascals. With this um, album, it was one that was anticipated on my list this year. were physical copies that were available, and it's been a journey just getting the physical copy uh, from the seller that I was buying from. So, sorry for the delay. Um, finally got the copy, listened to all 12 tracks, and um, I'm just going to share my thoughts on each one of the uh, tracks. Track number one is entitled Class 90 Intro. I love the intro to the 32 second mark of the track. The 44 second mark of this track kind of had this nice uh, jungle mix going on within the track. Track number two featured Manga, Merkston, and Double S. I like the production that was done on this track. I definitely love the 201 mark to the very end. You'll see everything get stripped down from the track and then it's just pretty much all instrumental and definitely love that part within the uh, track. Track number three was entitled My Different. This featured Big Nasty. Uh, with the track, you know, it starts out explosive. Uh, Big Nasty comes on and, you know, he just goes crazy like he always does. I think it was the second track that I actually heard from this uh, mixtape. Definitely a great collaboration between him and Rascals on this. I love the uh, sample that's used and done on this track. I like how he says, man said watch, so I'll look at my watch. Told man to watch this, bang man in the face. And that whole part was sick uh, when listening to it. But you'll hear him say his uh, trademark line, so he'll say gassed, and also he'll say uh, bass, which he's always talking about in every rhyme that he spits. But I thought uh, Big Shiz and also Mercs, I thought they both spit hard within the uh, track. Right. Number four is entitled Ain't Involved. This feature is Maxta. I thought it was catchy and I definitely like the uh, chorus in this track as well. Like how he's saying, if you ain't about money, I ain't involved. Track number five is entitled Ill Brain Cypher. This was actually the uh, first track that I heard from this uh, mixtape. I love the uh, production on this track. Um, I also love the verses from the 113 mark to the 142 mark um, on this track. And I felt like they were going so hard uh, during that part. Track number six is entitled Tell Em. This features Big Swings, Goaty One, and Squeaks. Hands down my favorite track on this album. From the moment it started, I knew this was going to be a great track. When the bass kicks in at the 40 second mark, I knew they was going to kill it. <laughs> the tone of the track kind of reminded me of My Crew by Chip which uh, went hard as well. I thought the track really uh, stood out with the vocals. I don't say the lyrics, roll around with rascals and we get them. And then it just kind of loops from there, fuck around with my team and we'll get them. I thought the uh, verses during the 107 mark to the 145 mark of the track was great as well. And from the 145 mark to the 212 mark, I like K. Wills. I like his vocals and also uh, the lyrics during that part as well. Track number seven is entitled So Dumb. This track features Drew Blue and Lushin. I felt like this is uh, one beat you'll hum along to and listen to and uh, you'll just kind of you know sing it along over and over in your head. Track number eight is entitled The Streets. This features Getz and Lunar C on the track. We'll see uh, K. Wills on the harmony part of the uh, song. I thought that part was real good. See Gats as well. He does his uh, trademark sound that he does on each one of his uh, tracks that he starts out with. You'll hear the lyrics, there goes another man down, and then you'll hear like gunshots, and that's when Gats comes in. And I thought that whole part was just sick with the way it was done. The 12 second mark, you'll actually hear Gats shout me out. He'll say, uh, Jacob, that was meant for me. <laughs> and I really liked the um, 18 second to 28 second mark. I thought Kay's vocals and lyrics were good during that part. And I kind of like the um, echo effect that's kind of done at that part. But the way that Getz is spitting on the track, I can just kind of, you know, see him like swaying his hands back and forth when he's spitting like within the studio like he always does. This is definitely one of my favorites out the UK and I definitely think he's, you know, definitely one of the best in the UK that can spit. The verses were real good at the 151 mark to the 246 mark of the track. The uh, 228 mark you'll kind of hear this uh, sound within the uh, track and it's kind of sounded like Tiny Tempest trademark where he's always saying yeah 
I thought this was going to be my second favorite, but this was my uh, third favorite from this album. Track number nine is Memories Acoustic. Uh, with the initial track, when I first seen it, I was like, oh man, don't do it. Please don't do it, rascals. Because I knew what the song was, and you know, it was actually one of my favorites from the uh, launch volume two. I was saying to myself, there ain't no way they're going to top the original for this. And, you know, when I think of acoustic, I know everything is pretty much stripped down. And I was like, I don't think it's going to have that same type of uh, vibe and feeling. But, you know, they did justice to the track. It actually uh, stood on its own. And I was happy with the end result, you know, when listening to it. I didn't think it was going to come out that great. Because the energy that goes in with the... Uh, original track that they had was just so good but all in all it brought out a different feeling and it definitely uh, showcased their vocals and um, also their harmonies within the song and it just uh, overall stood out to me and it just really made me want to pull out my launch volume 2 uh, mixtape and listen to that track number 10 is entitled Keys this was my second favorite track um, on this album, definitely love the production that was done on this. Well, the intro sounded so good on this track. The 22nd mark of the track, I like how they're, you know, pretty much talking about trying to reach out to old friends, but shit ain't the same. Definitely one of the realest verses that I heard on this album. But I like the uh, verses at the 42nd mark to the 105 mark. I thought um, the verses that were done during that part was real good as well. Track number 11 is entitled Freedom. This features Litter Torment. I know there was just a video that was just released. I have not seen the video yet, but I do want to check it out uh, because I did like this track on this um, album. So jazzy and, you know, with the track alone, you know, it definitely showcases uh, K. Wills as an artist. And he's definitely uh, talented and uh, you'll see like a lot of harmony within his uh, vocals. Track number 12 is entitled Tell the Tell. Again, I thought it was a another track that was powerful that K. Will shines on. You know, his harmonies are so good within the uh, track. From the uh, 42 second mark to about the 1 minute mark, I definitely love his vocals during that part. And the vocals at the 141 mark to about the uh, 152 mark of the track, I definitely like the uh, woman's vocals that was uh, mixed into the track. But overall, a great track. Uh, 12 tracks on this uh, album. Um, definitely loved this album. Thought it was great. And it actually topped the launch volume 2 for me. And, you know, overall I thought, you know, the major things that stood out on this album was the production, which was great. You know, I thought K. Wills definitely was showcased in this album a whole lot more. Also, I had a lot of great features with some of my favorite artists out the UK. I know uh, Max was on it. You know, he's always rapping East London. And then you had uh, Getz, Big Nasty. And it was quite a few artists that was on here that was uh, featured. So they definitely did a great job with the features. But overall, if you got this album, definitely share your thoughts. What were your favorite tracks? What was your top favorite track from this um, album? If you have a least favorite, feel free to drop it below. And where do you see Rascals going from here? If Rascals does happen to uh, check out this review, uh, definitely would like to see more tracks like Tell em, The Streets, also Keys. Those three were some bangers. But until next time, this has been Jacob Rob AJ, and I'll see ya. Young black boy for the game is playing like a monkey shot, the smell of his brothers. My favorite game in the playground, he used to play with burglars and coppers. I was never the fed though. My dad's kid way too far and got sent home. I got to explain to my mum, I never wear an easy raise my son.